Hello there and welcome back to uh, Castilla and Mexico and turning the tables. Last time, well, we did a little bit of colonizing, we fought a couple of wars. I must have bad got Cherokee here as a uh, protectorate, which kind of sucks. And of course, the Portuguese and also the uh, Castilians have started colonies of their own, which is potentially a, uh, well, very bad thing, but for now, we'll uh, allow it to do so. Hopefully, we can grab the Castilian colonies as they develop and not mess up as bad as I did with uh, St. Martin here. So, with that said, I'm pretty sure that we'll just continue with uh, quite likely just annexing the natives here. Make uh, makes it a little bit easier to just go, well, as you can imagine, straight out annexation here. I can use holy walls, which also is kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, we'll, as I said, probably do a bunch of holy walls. And considering that the core, I believe here, is 60% done, two years remaining, we'll just go ahead here and annex uh, the creeks as well. So... Let's just get to it and uh, see how it, uh, how it all plays out. There we go, the war is over, but as you can see, they will be quite expensive here simply by the uh, diplomatic points. So what we will be doing with the big nations is just taking what we can get for free. As you can see, these two provinces will be taken for free and then we'll just pay 50 uh, diplomatic power for the uh, last provinces in, well, all the areas. So that'll be a way for us to actually make things work. Apparently, I've completed, found an east... Uh, a colony there by actually conquest, which I actually thought was impossible, but uh, I guess it was, which is uh, quite good. Still, apparently where? So this one was is actually counted as a part of the thirteen colonies. So that is uh, that is good to know. But yeah, it uh, will probably work out as that solidify papal re relations, become papal controller, or uh, achieve religious unity. I guess we'll achieve a religious unity again. Just for the sole purpose of, uh, well, having it done. We'll make course of those two. And we'll join up our army in Muscogee uh, because it's basically in the middle. So it will be easier to defend the uh, the provinces. We might actually go ahead here and just take the one Caddo or also straight away. We'll have to consider that. Or if we uh, want to try and break off the uh, the relations that we currently have with, uh, with the Shayoki here. I have no idea how to actually do that. So I'll see if I can find a way. Probably by insulting them beyond... Uh, Belief. I have no idea. Council Protectorate here. So, yeah, I can actually do that. I believe it will cost me a point of stability and a little bit of prestige, but that's fine. As you can see, the Castilians actually gotten themselves an army over here, and they had quite a bit of a navy with it. So I'm currently upgrading my navy, so I can actually challenge this, and I'm also building a small army that we will be using to snatch these uh, colonies themselves. I'm also very tempted to clear one Portugal, so I can try and snatch their colonies as well. Portuguese should be, well, all right, as since it's in the Iberian group, but uh, we'll have to see here. I'll try and snatch this colony, but as you can see, it's growing rather fast, so I have no idea if we'll actually be able to, uh, to pull that off, but we should. So uh, we'll see how it turns out. As you can see, canceling the protectorate will uh, cause our stability to increase by one, and we'll take, well, zero, uh, zero hits to everything else. But that's, this will allow me to do a holy war for this province and probably this province as well. There's a capital in between these, so that's kind of bad. But at least we can take Shawnee and take uh, these two afterwards. So we'll basically start snaking ourselves up toward the coast, which will make it easier to keep track of things, but also to keep uh, everything under control. As you can see, this colony here has uh, 770 people, so maximum of two years before it's done. Probably a lot sooner. And also, as you made as you know, I'm very tempted to clear war on the Portuguese and just basically build up a supreme navy in this area and use that to my advantage. And as of now, that seems to be what I'll actually go ahead and do. So for now, we'll uh, be trying to, uh, I guess, fight battles, win them, and basically get the war score back to zero or this thing here. And we'll do that by trying to fight here. I think we should be able to uh, manage to get the battle done before we go for uh, Trinidad here. Hopefully, I'm not mistaken, I could be. We'll figure that out very soon. And yes, we should be able to win this battle, as you can see. And by that, the war score will be set back to zero. Because we have both won, or we have each won uh, one battle then, I think. So, I'll be going over here to Trinidad now and try and snatch the uh, colony before it comes done. Like the other ones. Or the other ones. So I'll check just how long it actually takes to march there. 5th of September. So, it'll take a little bit over a month. So, when it's about 9.50 late. 9.25, 9.50, I need to march. So that is uh, that is fine. But I'll just uh, wait for that moment and then we will uh, then we will strike. We'll see how it turns out. 
As you can see, we have actually managed to snatch up Trinidad, which is uh, quite good. We'll be aiming at snatching up uh, Antigua and Puerto Rico as well. Once again, I'm kind of uh, concerned that if I should go ahead and declare war with Portugal or not. I do not actually have a reason to declare war on them, and as such, uh, they're allied with England, Aragon, and Hausa. I have no idea if I can actually get... No, we're actually set up as a rival, so I probably should go ahead and declare war on them. So, uh, we don't have military access or anything else either. The Argonese kind of like us, so that is good. We'll probably keep relations up with them. But everyone else will probably just ignore here. If I can just get some, uh, some deal with France, we should be fine. But I guess I'll wait for this colony to grow a little bit more, and then we'll probably declare war on Portugal, use our own colonists to make things work. So I'll probably have three colonists running on my own, and one that we will be stealing every now and again. I'm pretty sure that our navy can surpass the navies of our enemies, and especially if I use the extra income I just got right now to build some more carracks to uh, to add to our to our fleet. With that, I'm pretty sure we should be able to uh, to make things work to our advantage. And as such, I believe it's uh, probably in our best interest to just keep on uh, keep on trying to uh, to well declare war on the other colonists, colonizers, and snatch their colonies before they are complete. So. That will probably be what I will be focusing on. And that will probably be the way that we will grow. We'll probably not fight too much with these guys. We'll fight them every now and again. Simply because of the fact that we uh, we can and well, quite possibly have to. But we'll try and, uh, and try and keep it to a... Uh, actually, I put this. We'll try to keep it to a low. Not do it too much. But at the same time, it's kind of necessary. I'll move these guys down south there. Because I'm pretty sure the Brazilian uh, Portuguese might actually decide to march all the way up here. So I need to I need to be able to to keep well to some extent my my colonies protected, but it should be fairly fine. So I will probably declare one put on put the Portuguese here once they reach 800 settlers or something, and then we'll use the uh, the colonizer right here to change or culture flip them, which in all uh, which should well be fairly easy. We we'll also keep an eye on the other colonies and uh, take them when we can. So that is how the plan works. We'll see if it actually uh, pays off. We've taken another exploration idea, Viceroy's, which gives an increase in global tariffs by 20%. That won't actually help us at all. Probably when we go to Europe, but not any time before that, so not too great. Next one will give us the colonies, of course, so we will be saving points for that. And after that, we'll get some uh, more. Once we've taken two more ideas, we'll get religious outposts, which gives missionary strength plus 3%, which is pretty damn strong. It's the same as divine supremacy. And I'm really tempted to actually take that one just to push the uh, religious outpost uh, idea, but also to get the stability cost modifier now that we're going to do the wars without, uh, well, without reason, which of course isn't a, uh, a good thing. I'll just move these troops to uh, a closer location than they currently are. It's Jamaica will be going for first, of course, so uh, no real reason keeping my army too far away. With that said, I'll just uh, stop talking and uh, wait for the opportune moment. We'll see how it turns out. Jamaica has 800 people, so if we are going to make a move, we should do it right now. These guys also are getting uh, pretty damn close. So yes, we will be declaring war straight away now. We'll also be creating a colony here. And once that colony is back home, we'll make things work. I'm kind of worried with Aragorn and England here being, uh, being potential allies of Portugal. And as such... Most likely will end up sending their navies up here as well. England in particular is uh, is kind of scary. But uh, we'll take a chance here. We'll declare war. It'll give some aggressive expansion with Portugal and Castile. It'll also give war exhaustion and stability issues. We'll go ahead and lower the uh, <clears throat> lower the war exhaustion already. And boost stability back up to plus one, I think. I should probably await it a little bit. But right now it's colony snatching that's on the... Uh, well, not on the menu, but the focus... Or the focus so I can't really allow myself to wait too long before I uh, before I make my moves here so we'll see that one we'll send half the troops back we need people here to keep the natives in check more or less and Greek rebels have re risen up here but as you can see not really a problem at all I'll also be moving my troops over here so we can snatch this one as you know I only have three colonies now including the Jamaican snatch one and this one is about to finish so that is uh, that is quite good We'll probably finish within the month so i can't send those guys over there without any trouble uh, as such we uh, will also you know just keep on snatching the <laughs> colonies and use that to our advantage the havana is done this one is uh, just being created as such we'll recall and we'll send him there to culture flip it to uh well our culture more or less which is uh well fairly all right 
We'll wait just a little bit before we take that one. They've actually... Yeah, this one is also very close to getting done. So we'll have a lot of things to do. A lot of <laughs> a lot of colonies to steal. But uh, for now, that should be that should be fairly alright. I'll just keep on with this and uh, we'll see how it all went up. So we have snatched a couple of colonies here that, uh, well, have become full. Jamaica among them. Um, this one here, this one here. Both of them have been snatched, both of them are almost done. We are also seeing that the Portuguese are creating a couple of new colonies here. And also this Castilian one will very soon be done. Uh, Castile also have created another one here. I might actually have to try and find a battle or actually once again aim at sieging St. Martin and quite possibly sieging the uh, Portuguese Brazil lands. So I might have to send an army down there simply for the pure purpose of uh, sieging their lands there. Also, as you can see, there is a pretty big Portuguese uh, navy here that could potentially be very bad to deal with. But we do have basically a bigger fleet of our own. So I guess we'll go ahead actually and challenge this thing because it seems like they might actually have troops with them for us. But uh, we'll go ahead and try and challenge their navy and see if we can beat it. It's kind of a doubtful situation. I think we can, but I wouldn't really bet on it. So I'll keep these guys in... Uh, or the transport ships and harbor. I'm very tempted to actually hire a admiral here. It'll cost 50 diplomatic power, but I'm pretty sure it could pay off. So, well, it didn't. But uh, hopefully now we'll be able to defeat their navy, and we'll be aiming at hunting them down fairly, fairly quickly here. There is a 6,000 men Portuguese army here. That is actually fairly good for us. Well, I did not count on that one, but that's all right, I think. As I was saying, it's actually fairly good that they did bring an army over here. I should probably fire him. It probably won't make too much of a difference anyway. Just to make sure that I get the maximum amount of military power. But yeah, we will be aiming at crushing this uh, army as soon as it lands. I don't actually have any colonies in the area, so that is fine. And we'll probably also aim at, uh, well, snatching colonies as we have been doing. Once one of these uh, colonies are done, we'll be sieging St. Martin to try and make sure that the war won't simply end. But uh, we should be fine. We'll see how it turns out. So, as you can see, the battle with the Portuguese Navy is going fairly well. It's actually going to be sunk. Uh, unfortunately, I should have waited a little bit longer to allow these guys to get ashore. But, uh, unfortunately, I didn't. I guess one could say. But, yeah, the Portuguese Navy was sunk. We stole uh, some of their ships. And they are being sent home. So, I'm kind of surprised that the blockade is still up, even though they are fleeing. But, uh, I guess that's fine. We'll send these guys to deal with the Valdonesian heretics. And then we'll send them back to the core construction area. These guys will of course be sent to the Isles to, well, prepare for a secondary assault, I guess. I guess we'll actually make Jamaica our, uh, how should I put this, our, well, naval base operation. I could make these uh, three Isles here. Um, I believe this is Cuba or Havana. Yeah, I'm very bad with uh, where things are on the map, so don't hate me too much for that. But yeah, as you can see, this is the next colony we'll steal. But other than that, not really that much else to report. We'll, uh, we'll see how it all winds up. So, as you can see, we have a second battle with the Portuguese uh, Navy. It actually came back without reinforcing, which means that it'll, well, lose quite a bit here. It was completely destroyed, as you can see, and that is, of course, a very good thing. That means that we have, well, to some extent, complete dominance on the seas. We do only have now two colonies that are currently under construction, both originally ours. So I guess I'll uh, set up the uh, construction of a colony in Tortuga, and... With that said, we'll also, I guess, go off to Puerto Rico pretty uh, pretty soon. We'll wait until they have about 900 men, and then we'll uh, go ahead and take it. I guess we might as well just send the uh, the navy over there. We haven't fought with the Castilian in quite a while. So I wish there was a way to actually check the last time we fought a Castilian, but unfortunately there aren't. So uh, we'll have to just, well, kind of bet on when, when last time we met a Castilian, more or less. But yeah, I'll be waiting for... Just to make sure that I know exactly when this 20 of... Yeah, it'll take one month and five days, so that kind of sucks, but it should be it should be fairly fine. One month, five days, I'll just have to send when it's about uh, 850. With that said, I think we'll go ahead and park in less case for, uh, for the night, more or less. And we also have some rebels, as you can see, revolutionaries uh, to boot, but uh, they should be easily uh, destroyed. I haven't seen anything for, from the Portuguese Brazil colony down here, so that is... Uh, that is fairly well. And with a little bit of desire of 36%, we might actually, to some extent, well, I could potentially here try and alliance, nope, support independence. Yeah, I could potentially support independence if we, or when time comes that we aren't at war with Portugal, but I do guess that is fairly far away. 
But yeah, for now, we'll have to keep a good eye on the Castilian uh, colonies. They currently have three, as far as I know. And we'll go ahead and snatch them. The Portuguese have two. So the fact of the matter is, by doing this, I'm getting a load, loads of benefits. Let's take number one. By actually being at war with uh, all of these people, it means that I can basically snatch any colony that comes into existence anywhere here. And by using my own colonists to swap the culture, it'll be mine. I'll basically be saving a ton of money for a lot of micromanaging, but it will be fine. It means that we can grow faster and get stronger. So all in all, it's good. The only thing that I have to be aware of is, uh, or beware, is that if I do not fight or siege anything in five years' time, the uh, truce timer will start, or the five year not anything happening, uh, white peace will commence. So I have to be wary of that. If that actually happens, I might just go ahead and break the truce, but we'll we'll figure it out down the line. But unfortunately, this is the end of the wow. This is the end of this episode. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, praise, criticism, anything you feel like, and I'll see you around next time. Bye.